The return of Bellator MMA to Chicago six years in the making was worth the wait. The fans blew the roof off Allstate Arena, especially when two prospects looking to become contenders met. Steve Cazola said, what do you know about your opponent? We asked him, I said, I know he's not going to win. Yeah, and it was a fight about who would make a statement. It was Steve Cazola making the statement, starting with the left hook, and then look at this flurry of punches fast. Accurate, powerful Jake Roberts out in the first round. Steve Cazola goes to 8 0, immediately called out Dylan Dennis, the newcomer who is sitting cage side. That is how you make an impact. The last time we saw Noel Lahat, he had a lot of pressure fighting at home in Tel Aviv. He looked like he was fighting without pressure in this one. Yeah, Lloyd Carter made it interesting with that jab. He had power at this weight class. Noel Lahat, though, doing what he does best, which is take down, go for the submission. He took the back here. Look at this rear naked choke underneath the chin. Lloyd Carter out immediately. A submission win for Noel Lahat. Two straight impressive performances in his first two fights in Bellator. Sergey Karatanov's Bellator debut did not go the way he hoped. This was a little more what he had in mind. And the way he fought it was disciplined. Hands up, sharp combinations. Former Chase Gormley had his moments, but look at this uppercut. A right hand over the top, then an uppercut finishes it by knockout. He wants to be the heavyweight world champion, a title that will be decided in 2017. In the co-main event, Emmanuel Sanchez said, I want to be a champion, so I want to fight a former champion. He did, it was beyond impressive. Yeah, the question here was, could Marco Scalfall deal with the pressure, the intensity, and the activity of Emmanuel Sanchez? The answer was an emphatic no. Emmanuel Sanchez keeping the range, throwing everything but the kitchen sink at Marco Scalfall. It went all 15 minutes with this fight. Clear dominance for Emmanuel Sanchez. It looked like a kickboxing match with MMA gloves on. And Emmanuel Sanchez, coached by Duke Rufus, a great kickboxer in his own right, he had the tools to not just win, but dominate in this fight. He said, when it's time to shine, be your brightest, he was. Three years we waited for the rematch. It looked like a rerun until the final two minutes. Now, exactly. The first round about the takedown of King Mo taking Rampage down, holding him down in round one. But in round number two, that's when Rampage finally got the range he wanted and hurt King Mo toward the end of the round. Start off with a left hook, good combinations. King Mo, once again, just like in the first fight, hurt on roller skates, able to finish strong in round number two, but in round number three, this was the difference maker. King Mo able to stay close to Rampage, not giving him the range, worked the, the clinch and the takedown. That's what gave him the crucial third round and the decision win. Becoming the first to hand Rampage Jackson a loss in Bellator and on to Madison Square Garden for King Mo to face Ryan Bader. For more, log on to Bellator.com. Belfast, a city with fighting in its blood, welcomes former Bellator champ Liam McGeary and his knockout power. Whoever stood in front of me is going to get punched in the face. As he battles Irish finisher Chris Fields. Plus, Ireland's next superstar, James Gallagher, looks to remain undefeated. This is my country. Bellator MMA presented by Miller Lite, Friday at 9 on Spike.